Hi, this is Beatrice, the older and the wiser sister of the Long Duo. During pandemic, unfortunately, we cannot play for you in person, uh, but the upside is that you can enjoy the music at your own home over a glass of wine. And so Christina and I would like to make some recommendations to see what wine may pair with our music. Um, and preferably a wine that's not super expensive, such as US dollars, 25 and under, and it has a high rating and is a wine that we both enjoy. Hi, I'm Christina, the younger and the wiser of the long duo. The background music you're hearing now is Libertango, written by an Argentinian composer, Astor Viasola. And uh, the particular version is arranged by Beatrice for our uh, long duo tour to South America. And the wine we're pairing with naturally is Argentinian Malbec. It is a Malbec growing on high altitudes in Andes Mountains. To pair with tango music, we need a wine that is intense layered and sexy. So here we chose Cantena Zapata. This is uh, priced at a wine stores local, locally at $15.99. Very good for the money. With this wine, you could taste plums, dark fruit, which is the basic characteristic of a Malbec wine. It's rich and earthy and with a hint of smoke. We opened this wine yesterday and today is still very strong and the impact is immediate and very appreciable, just like the tango. This beautiful region, including the city of Mendoza, is called Uco Valley. It is vast and somewhat desolate. Uh, it has a beautiful, majestic, snow-capped Andes mountain as the backdrop. Despite the high elevations, they got all the irrigation system all figured out. So the wines are very consistent year after year, just like the bass rhythm of the tango, very consistent. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. When I watch tango, I can feel the intensity between the two dancers, like love and hate blend into one. Many sources claim that tango originated from Montevideo, Uruguay, while Argentinians claim that it's theirs. So the truth, shall we let them fight it out while sipping wines? Sure, a lot of dispute can be settled over a glass of wine. Here's to you, cheers.